All right, time to take a look at the Vivor shipping scale. Okay. So we got our instructions. Looks like this is gonna just kind of come out in one piece. That wasn't that bad. So we got our AC adapter and we got our wheels. Those might just be hand knobs. Let's check out the display. Oh, cool. It's got a ton of protection. So they already got this wire strung through the base. So it looks like all we gotta do is back out these screws and then screw that into this base. Okay, so it looks like these are leveling feet. And that's just gonna stick on the bottom. So it's good to have that because if you're on uneven ground, this is gonna make sure that you get a good measurement. When we lift this guy up, and that just latches in like that. Cool. I do like this diamond plate texture they got on here. It's nice. So up on the display, we've got a spot for our AC adapter and our power switch. Oh, well, that's cool. It actually just turned on. So apparently it's got a battery on the inside. Okay, so I got it plugged in now. So you can see you got a little red light right here. So that means it is actually getting a charge. Now I was reading the instructions and they said it could operate for 10 hours with the internal battery. So if we put some weight on it, we can see we do got a backlight on there. So that's pretty cool. We got kilograms and pounds. If we want to change that, we just hit this button. So now it's going to measure in pounds. And if we put some weight on there, you can see we got 43.3 pounds and we can also change the units while it has weight on it. So that's very nice. Now the main cool thing about this is it can actually tell us prices. So if we had 43.3 pounds and it was at $4 per pound, it would be $173.20. Of course, it does update very quickly, which is something I actually really like. If we want to change that, we want to change the price, we can make it $1.20, so $51.84. So if you want to calculate pounds or kilograms to dollars, this is a very easy way of doing that. We also have a tear function. For example, if I wanted to weigh just the water in there and not the jug, I could empty out that jug and we'll say that the jug weighed 43.2 pounds and I'll hit tear. That essentially zeroes it out. And then if I was to fill that jug up, then I would be weighing the water and not the jug. So very cool for that. And then if we want to remove the tear, we just pull the weight off and hit tear again. Now another cool thing is the backlight actually has a couple different settings. So I just hit this zero light button so we can turn that off. Or we can do a slightly darker light or you can do full light. So if you're in a very dark room and you don't want this to be hurting your eyes, you can reduce the brightness. The volt button will just show what the volts are coming in. So kind of a weird button to have on there, but it's got that. So if you want to know what that information is, you can see it. So one cool thing about this is we can actually add items together, kind of like a cash register. So we got 43.2 pounds. And if it was $1 per pound, we got $43.20. And I'm going to add. So we got 43.20 so far. And if I put something else on there and it is $90 per pound. That's $72. Hit add. So right now we got $115.20. So then if you want to charge that, we can hit charge. And we'll just say that we received $200. Then I'm going to give them back $84.80. So this really has all the functions of a cash register. It's pretty awesome. And whenever I'm done, hit charge. And you can clear out anything that's in there. So then the fun key is for counting. So if I put this on, and I hit function, I'm going to enter the number of items that are on there. I'm going to hit it again. And then if I put another thing on there, it counts too. So if I have a whole bunch of small things and I want to just count it, I can use that to count how many of them I have. Especially if I have like just a big bag of bolts or something like that. I could put a bucket on here, hit tear to zero that out, put 10 bolts in, count to 10, and then just throw all the bolts in at once and it will tell me how many bolts I've got in that bucket. So. Very cool. So yeah, that is incredible scale. If you got to turn pounds into prices, this is going to be the best option for that. And the fact that it can go up to 660 pounds is kind of incredible. I think the thing that's more important is the fact that it can go up to 660 pounds, but most scales can go up that high, cannot weigh things that don't weigh very much. But this one actually can, 0.8 pounds. So I'm curious what the weight of air is. So I've got a compressor here and it is full of air. And if I let the air out, So it's going to 42.4. I thought I was going to hit 42.3, but we're looking at about 0.4 pounds. So <laughs> interesting stuff. So yeah, overall, that is one awesome scale. I am very happy to have that.